Hey everybody, it's Steve Cook with PremierGuitar.com and today we are checking out the Source Audio Soundbox 2 Manta Envelope Filter Pedal. It's a lot to spit out, but there's a lot in this pedal. This is a little powerhouse. It's not just an envelope filter, it's not just a phaser, it's not just a distortion pedal, it's, well, all of them combined. Today the signal chain is very simple, going from bass, quarter inch cable, into the Manta pedal into an amp which also has a DI, so basically you're bypassing the amp, you're just hearing bass to pedal. The heart and soul of this pedal are the filters. You have right here in the middle, you've got this control wheel that's taking care of all that for you. You've got high pass, low pass, band pass, notch filters, single peak, and multi peak. I know it sounds like a lot, it's all in the manual, check it out. But what you can do is you can not only voice this filter, but it also has eight distortions to voice with that, which can be controlled with this little button over here. So not only are you going You can filter your way through, you can, you can hear the After you get through the filter section and the paired distortion section, then you come down here to the modulation source, which source, which is interesting because you can control the waves and you can have a fast attack, slow attack, you can kind of have an LFO, you can have a sine wave, so you can you can get keyboard emulation going on with this pedal as well. And you can also control the speed of the waves and then you can control what exactly it is you want to blend. You can blend the frequencies, you can blend the, the drive or you can blend the mix of your original tone plus the filtered tone. So I'm going to walk you through a couple of tones because this thing will keep you going all day. There's so many different things we can go here, but I'm going to play you a couple of my favorites. One of the things you need to know about this pedal is as you change tones, you go through this option knob right here, which will sort of make the tone happen for you. And I'll, I'll demonstrate that. So right now, since I have this control set at the drive type, Here at the very end, it gets dirty. So if I want to change this, first of all, that's the tone from the top. And you hear that there's no distortion. No overture. So now we're going to change to frequency control. Now, I haven't touched this option yet. Still the same. But now, that's what sort of triggers it. And all I changed was just this one control. And of course, now you have space age stuff. Speed control. And all I did there was just move that one little low pass filter. Of course, you can make it dirtier. Or clean it up. And again, you can play with this all day long. So again, using the hot hand controller on this thing uh, would be pretty cool, as well as the other options. And again, you've got two channels on this, so you can set a, two different presets or do a true bypass. So if you don't want to get the hot hand or get into that, at least you can get some useful effects and get some tonally usable things that may or may not get you fired, depending on your gig. So if the dubstep industrial thing isn't for you, this also has a very usable, pretty cool distortion that you can use. Oh, 
also has phasers, it also has keyboard simulators, and again, you can use any combination of these effects. This is Steve Cook for PremierGuitar.com. Make sure you go to our YouTube channel, subscribe while you're over there, watch this video again, and watch hundreds of other videos on gear from around the world. You can also go to PremierGuitar.com, read my written review of this pedal, and hear some different sound samples. Thanks so much for stopping by. Wah, 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 wah,